Hi YouTubers, welcome back. This is Nina with Cool Hip Funky Stuff. I am back with a Benz haul from Hernanda, Mississippi, which is the closest Benz to my home location. Um, there is another one in Memphis, which is about twice as far away. I've been there a couple of times and both times I have walked out in disgust. <laughs> um, so Hernando is the place I go when I'm at home and local and it is Monday. Um, so I figured that there might be some good pick in there. Um, I did get there a little bit late. It was afternoon, lunchtime, noon. Um, but I ended up staying for about four hours and I spent a hundred and twenty five dollars um, they have raised their prices it is now a dollar ninety five a pound for um, clothing and still 250 a pair for shoes which I bought four of and um, 50 cents or a dollar things like that for little sundry items so um, 125 pound or 125 dollars total. I ended up getting about 45, somewhere between 45 and 47 pounds. And I'm just gonna get started with some of the smaller items, such as shoes. Um, so my strategy was to get stuff that I could send to um, take into Plato's, send to. Um, uh, of um, either the real real or thread up and also things that I could list on either Poshmark, eBay, Depop or Mercari. Um, I have started making a few sales on Mercari, um, actually not Mercari, on Depop which is good. Merc uh, it's a little weird. It feels like empty space there. Um, so <laughs> I don't know how else to explain that. Um, okay, so let's get started. So my first item is these pair of Keds. They are leather loafers in very gently worn condition. Um, I am planning on taking these in to Plato's Closet. I believe these are a size seven and a half. I've never picked up a pair of Keds. I do see them online selling 25 to 30 ish. Um, but it's not something I'm super excited about listing, so I'm taking them in. And I only bought those because they were the leather variety. Um, next thing is a pair of driving moccasins from Cole Haan. These look like they've been barely worn. Um, the other shoe has a little bit of a styrofoam thingy stuck in it I'm gonna have to remove, but... Um, that's not going to be too hard. These are an eight and a half B. And you can see like they're hardly worn. So these I am planning on listing and I should get somewhere around $30 for those. Next pair of shoes are these Mountain Soul. They are Birkenstock knockoffs. Um, and they're just in really good condition. They're all, I, I believe these are a size nine. Actually, they're a size eight. Um, it says European 39 and a half, which is kind of big. They are leather. They have a leather footbed. Um, everything about them is in good condition. They look barely worn. Here's the other one. And they're just a cute style. Um, you know, $25 for these. I think I'm gonna list them. We'll see what happens. I know it's not a brand that is super popular, but the style is. Um, next thing I found were these White Raven, whoop, my mountain of clothes is about to follow me. Um, they're called White Raven and they are these um, lace up sneakers in white with a silver glitter star on them. Here's the tag inside, White Raven. When I saw these, they reminded me of um, opening ceremony, which I also found at the bins not too long ago. If you saw my Houston haul, they were in that video. And I sold those pretty quickly for about $40. Um, and when I looked up comps for these, they were selling for about $40. So um, 
I knew when I picked them up that they were something. And they are. So it's a new brand for me. Maybe you've heard of it. Let me know if you've sold it before. Um, let's see. What else? I got these little um, Sherling liners for shoes. I like to pick up things like this whenever I can. They're like feather light. They're size 41. In case I find a pair of Uggs or something that the exterior is in really good condition, but the inside lining is bad, I can replace them. So there's that. I think that was 50 cents. Um, I have a bag over here that I want to get into. Pardon me while I move my 45 pounds of clothing out of the way. Okay, let's get a couple of these things. I found a couple of tree skirts um, that I just thought were really fun. They're going to be kind of hard to show, but let me see if I can stand up and at least show parts of it. So this one has some really beautiful um, detail on it. It is sewn. These are sewn into place, not glued. Um, and I know there, there's some staining on it, but it, I think this is vintage. So it's got the 12 days of Christmas on here. There's three, there's four, five, just a really cool tree skirt. So I picked this up. Um, haven't comped it yet. But I thought with Christmas coming up, that would be a unique item to add to my closet. And then this is the next one, which I believe that one might have been handmade or at least is a little bit vintagey. This one I think is probably more modern because it's made out of fleece material and the little guys are glued on. But this is also really beautiful. It's got some interesting scenery on it of just all kinds of fun, Christmassy, beautiful, bejeweled scenery. I think that's just really pretty. And it just reminded me a little bit of sort of an old world European Christmas. Um, not very traditional colors, more purples and greens which is probably how I would decorate a Christmas tree is with purple and greens. And it does have this um, gold sort of lacy um, edging on it. So I liked both of those. Those were really nice. Okay, let me grab my bag of stuff. So there is a bag. <laughs> I'm gonna try and do this fast. Oh, let me do this. This thing. I didn't look up comps, but it's made in Switzerland by a company called Hoppy, and it's just a kid's toy. Um, and uh, it's got little suction cups so that you can stick it on a table. Um, anything wood like this kind of reminds me of the Melissa and Doug kind of thing and uh, all the neat learning toys. I think I paid a dollar for this, so no big loss if it does not have value. Um, I got a strap. I have a red bag that is missing the strap and I thought that I could use this as a replacement for that. I haven't sold that bag. I forget what the brand is. It's in my closet. Um, but I'm glad I found a strap that I can use on that. 50 cents. Here is a belt. This is a Vera Bradley belt and I think you could probably wear it on either side. It's got some kind of uh, yellow and orange and burgundy colors reminded me of fall. Do not know what size it is. Hopefully my dogs are not going to bark too loud. I found this bralette by Windsor. It is an extra large sort of caged bralette. I guess you could wear it as a top. It's very lacy. It's got some eyelash lace. Um, covers all the important parts 
was new with tags. It's a size extra large, as I said, and the original price is $28.90. It's very cute. And I found a Titleist Foot Joy hat. Has a little bit of staining under the bill, but I believe I can bleach that a little bit. I'm going to have to bleach the shoelaces for those um, white ravens. So this is a small medium. It says Titleist on the back. It's Pro 7 Foot Joy. That's FJ. And Titleist on the front. The outside is in great condition. It's just a little bit stained on the interior there. So um, get about 20 for this. It was the first thing I found when I walked in. So I said, maybe it's going to be good. Uh, okay, so let's see what else is in this bag. I bought a couple things for myself. I got this watercolor pad and a smaller watercolor pad so that when I am relaxing in front of the TV, I can practice doing some watercolor flowers and butterflies and things like that. I have some watercolor pencils and um, been watching a few YouTube videos on how to do watercolor, which is not easy. I've always been an acrylic painter. Um, acrylics are very, I mean, uh, watercolors are very challenging. So I'm excited about at least just playing around with that. Okay, this is a no name sort of camelback sort of thingy. It doesn't look like it's ever been used. It has this blingy dolphin on it. It has a dolphin charm on it. It's got some cordage that you can tuck some things up in there. Here's the interior with the water bottle. Um, great condition. I think I paid a dollar for this. Um, not sure what I'm gonna sell it for. Might keep it. This is a Scout bag. These are often sold at Hallmark stores. I have sold this style before for about $24 or so. Um, I have a really big one on the floor that I use for going to the mail. But this one has outside compartments um, and they are very popular. It's also got some interior pockets, but um, they're really solid bags, and every time I have picked one up, it has sold pretty quickly. So be on the lookout for the Scout bags. All right, I got a Michael Kors purse. This one is, it's in a little bit of rough shape, but I just thought it was interesting, and I thought I would, I liked the color. I thought I would toy around with um, maybe trying to refurbish it, and maybe seeing the value of it as well has an interesting way of closing. The flap has a little slit in it that goes over this little guy and then this little doojiggy fits in right there. I just thought it was pretty light. And the interior is in so-so uh, shape. Um, I may keep this for myself. There was another one, another Michael Kors bag that was a knockoff, but I think this one is the real one. I had them both in my cart for a little while. Anyway, a project. I have some colored shoe polish somewhere that I think I might use to work on this. And it does have some pen marks that I'm going to try using hairspray to remove. And we'll see. What comes of that little project? The kitty, which we adopted. We are naming it Grayson. And I found this Smarty Kitty Stinkies mat that goes inside a litter box to help prevent the smell. In a litter box, it's an odor neutral neutralizing litter box freshener. So I got that for Grayson. I found this vintage sort of attache. Um, if you saw on my Instagram, I recently listed a CNC bag that's made out of this older Italian leather as well. It has YKK zippers. It is unbranded, but this stuff, like my dad used to carry stuff like this. He was a professor, um, 
and I was born when he was a graduate student, so this kind of reminds me of him, but smells like old leather. But it's cool. I'll probably put this on Depop and eBay. Next, final thing in this bag, and then we can get to the clothing, is a Melissa and Doug um, puzzle upside down. It's called Knock Knock. It's all these colorful doors. I'm going to have fun counting <laughs> all the pieces, but it'll be a fun evening project, and then once we do it, I can sell it. And then whenever I can find these bags, I pick them up. And usually I pack them full um, at the bins. All right, let's get into the clothes. In no particular order, um, I this is one of the later pickups. Whenever our stores have these pink tags on them, it means boutique and they usually price things up. This is a Nike velour pair of joggers. They're size large. I thought they were kind of fun and slinky. Um, they have this gold piping. Very royal looking. Um, those will probably go on Depop. Seems like a Depop kind of thing. I got this USA Polo Association um, quarter zip, which is new with tags for my dad, size extra large. Nine-year-olds, like I told you before, are much like children, and they get their clothes dirty. <laughs> I found a couple of pieces of Free People. This is the first one. It is a linen oversized tunic. Um, lots of raw hemorrhage on the sleeves, around the waist, and the hemline. Here's the tag. Oh, the size has been cut out, so I don't know what size it is. Let's see. Let's see if it says on the interior tag what size. It doesn't say, but I'm guessing that just based on how big this is, I know there are things tend to run large, but this is really large. I'm going to call this an extra large. That's what they called it, so. We'll go with Excel, and I will probably use Google Lens to figure out what style that is. Um, here's the other piece. It was also a linen piece. It is a We the Free little um, kind of a jacket, short sleeve jacket. Cute. I know it's summery, but hey, it's free people. Again, I'll use Google Lens or try to look at the style number if I can find it on the tag. These cracked me up. Um, nothing exciting about them except that they are funny and I bought them specifically for Depop. They are a piece, pair of men's underwear with um, the Mexican wrestling masks all over them. They are a brand called Sax, S-A-X-X, -X, which I know nothing about. Um, and they're a size extra large. So I just thought they were fun. I hope you can sell used underwear <laughs> over on Depop. All right, so funny thing, I have not been into a Goodwill around here in a really long time. And I went in last week when I was looking for my um, supplies for the kitty. And I did a quick haul on what I found there. And I recognized this shirt from that store. And as I was looking through the bins, I noticed several other pieces that I had seen in that store. So I think they had uh, liquidated a few items. Um, and this is one of them that I was thinking about buying when I was in the store, just because of the lacrosse and sort of a unique polo design. It is Polo Ralph Lauren. Um, and again, it was a boutique item that they had priced at $6.99. It's a large, probably a medium large, and um, I probably paid a dollar for it. 
Okay, let's do this next. This is a Nike Storm Fit jacket. It is branded for Navy, Navy football. It is um, football season. So there's the swoosh. There is Navy right there. And there's also Navy on the back. So it is a size medium. It says storm fit right down here. It's in great condition. Um, it's got zip pockets. And I think someone will scrap that up. I'll put, probably put that on Depop and eBay. Maybe Mercari. I don't think it's going to be do so well on Poshmark. Okay, next item is this jacket that I bought strictly on style because it doesn't actually have a um, brand. It says total Michael Jackson vibe here that I just thought was really cool. It's got epaulettes. It's got some uh, strappy detail on the wrists. And it does have functional pockets, which also have these big buttons. I just thought it was a cool jacket. It actually looks really good on me. I might wear it until I sell it. I believe it is probably an extra large. It uh, is a slightly big on me, but um, I can wear it. So. Next one is also a jacket. This one happens to be reversible, and that is why I got it. Um, it is made by Apple Bottoms, which I understand that the um, jeans are starting to come back, but it is just a basic bomber jacket that is reversible. So it's black satin on the one side, and it's got some cool button detail here. Um, well, they're button, they're actually like snap covers. It also zips. And then the inside is a more colorful satin that has all the little apples on it. So the classic apple bottom thing. And then on the black side, it also has this medallion that says apple bottom. Um, I believe, here it is. This one is, it's all polyester. It's a size large, which was what I was going to guess because I tried it on in the store and it fit me. It's not very heavy. Next item I found were these Levi's 501s in this fun acid, sort of acid wash. Um, they're straight leg. They are a high rise. These are men's, I do believe. Um, I don't think they're vintage. They're size 36 by 34. But I just like the wash on them. I thought those were going to do pretty well. Either on Posh, Mercari, or on Depop. And there's just a little wear on the bottom there. But, you know, distressed is in. I don't think that's going to kill anybody. Okay, this is probably the find of the day. Because it is new tag. Although the tag has been cut. Do you recognize that tag? You will recognize this logo. It is a hoodie from the North Face. I couldn't believe that this was in there. So nothing wrong with it that I could see. It's got a kangaroo pocket. It's a men's size large. It's a really thick, you know, kind of like double, double layered, like with a um, jersey knit on the inside and then the sweatshirt material on the outside. It's got a little bit of sort of shop wear, you know, kind of like grunge from the bins. It also has a little bit of animal hair, which I'll probably have to get out. Oh, animals. But I was excited about that. All right, I found another FedEx jacket. This one is slightly different than the last one I found, which I ended up selling for 49 bucks. Um, this one is quilted on the inside and it is sort of a bomber style, has the FedEx logo. It is a men's um, extra large. The last one I sold was a small and it sold pretty quickly. Um, so I'm excited about this. Memphis is the central hub for FedEx. So I find this kind of stuff all of the time. I actually have a pair of 
FedEx overall that are made by Herman Miller that I need to list. Next is a skirt by Athleta. It is the plastic tag, which means that it's a little bit older. It's a size two petite. It's a cute little skirt. That will be good for spring, which is just around the corner. Um, next item is, I have not ever found this brand before, out from under. And it, I think, don't think it's a dress. Although, maybe it is. No, it's just a little tunic top. It's got these funky spaghetti straps. It's got lots of shredding at the bottom, bra hem, a little bit of a pleat at the bottom there. That's super cute. Um, and it is a size, I think it says small. That's a huge small. So I will probably take measurements to make sure. Out from under, that is really light. This shirt I also got just on style. Um, it's got a few holes in it, but they kind of add to the character. What a cool design, huh? Especially for this time of year. So it's like a line drawing of this funky skeleton. Um, it is not vintage, as I said, it is a Gildan heavyweight and it is a 3XL. Um, I just thought it was cool. I got that for Depop. Lots of t-shirts selling on Depop. Okay, I got this shirt mostly for me, but I'm, I'm going to have to research it. Um, this is also not vintage, I do not believe. Um, but it is Orange Beach, which I believe is either Florida or California. And it says Living Salty. Um, you're gonna laugh at me when I tell you why I bought this. <laughs> there, I have very curly hair. And right now I haven't done anything with it. I didn't really do much with it after I washed it yesterday. Um, but most days when I wash it, I do this thing called the curly girl method. And one of the women that I saw showing demonstrations on the curly girl method used a long sleeve t-shirt to help dry the hair without like messing up the curls. So that's why I bought this. <laughs> but if it's worth anything, I might sell it and find me a different one to do my hair with. <laughs> Okay, next, this also was a boutique item. These are some um, Levi's. These are 517s. They had them listed at $14.99 in the store. They are a boot cut, 33 by 32. And they're in good condition. So you can't go wrong with boot cut Levi's. Another thing for dad here. Um, a polo. I thought this one was kind of cool actually with the um, denim collar and the stripies, but it's dad size. So another item for my 90 year old pop. You'd think that um, I never buy anything for my husband, but I do. <laughs> okay, I bought this for my kitty. This is just a very soft um, pillow cover. A friend of mine gave me a little doggy bed and I was going to cover it with this nice soft warm thingy for our new kitty that adopted us. Next item is a Levi's Taylor Fit denim jacket. It's a pearl snap. It is a women's. Um, it's definitely a medium because I can, it's like the sleeves are long enough, but I can't button it up. But it's in great condition. It is a tailored fit. It's very flattering, even on me, although I could not close it. It just, you know, kind of gives you a little bit of shape because it is a tailored fit. 
like that very much. I didn't find too much vintage, but this is a vintage maxi wrap dress made out of that polyester, so it's probably 1960s or 70s. You can tell by the tag, which is a Miss Elaine. And Miss Elaine does a lot of um, sleepwear. There is a little hole in the, right at the waist, where it's just the seam that needs to be sewn. But I liked the, um, the print. It is tulips, blue and purple tulips. And it's got sort of this puff um, detail at the wrists. It is wrap style, hard to demo, but I just thought it was sweet and it's super light. So I thought I'd get it and see how it did on Depop where lots of vintage happens. Next, this is also for Depop. And I do believe this might be somewhat older. It is a company called Diamondback. It's a um, fleece lined, so maybe not super old, maybe 80s. Did they have fleece in the 80s? Yes, they did. Um, anyway, fleece lined denim jacket in a men's medium. Um, yeah, not much else to say. It's got a, a um, quarter of collar. All the buttons seem to work. It does say Diamondback on the on the um, buttons. So I have to research Diamondback, but I really just bought that mostly for style. This is actually a vintage item. I do believe it is by a company called Art Ultimate. No, Art Unlimited. It's an extra large sort of half zip or quarter zip with um, a little ship's wheel. And it's just printed with all these different lighthouses of North and South Carolina. There's Ocracoke, which I have visited. Um, there's Bald Head, which I've also visited. Um, kind of cool. Sandy Hook Lighthouse, Thomas Point Shoal Light. I just thought it was kind of neat, nautical. Vintage, someone will have fun with that. I think that was Oak Island, yes. I recognize all the North Carolina ones since I grew up there. And I actually took a week long trip where I went with a friend up starting from Raleigh to the Outer Banks to Duck where the Corolla Lighthouse is. And then we camped and visited all seven lighthouses in North Carolina. That was kind of a fun trip. All right, so next item that I got was actually a set. This is a flannel, 100% cotton pajama set from Victoria's Secret. I did have the top and the pants. I found the pants first and then a lady across the way found the top for me. It is a size small and it's in great condition. I'm excited about that. Um, Next few items here are actually things that I'm planning on sending to Plato's. And there are three hoodies from American Eagle. Here's the first one, just plain gray. Nothing exciting on the back, but it says American Eagle on the front. This one says AE and then American Eagle on the sleeve. And it is a block blue and burgundy with a kangaroo pocket and then this final one um, and they're all extra larges this one is sort of a marled red with AE on the front and then USA on the back and it also has pockets so that's all going to Plato's. This is also going to Plato's. It is a Fashion Nova shirt. This new tags, just a striped shirt. Type of thing that they take. Um, 
I'm not sure what I'm doing with this yet. This is also new with tags. Not a brand that sells all that well, but I bought it because it is good, new with tags. It is Buffalo by David Bitten. Here is the tag. And it is a faux leather jacket that is kind of Sherpa lined. I believe this is a men's. It is a large. I believe it's a men's. I will have to try it on to see. But it's in great condition. So I picked it up. It probably weighs three or four pounds, so I might have overpaid for that, but we'll see. I'm not shy about taking chances. Um, all right, I found quite a number of Tory pieces, and here is one of them. This is a pair of jeans. They are low rise, which I think they're low rise. That's a, well, that's probably a 12 inch rise, but for a size 24, that's probably gonna be considered a low rise. So it's got some factory distressing on the back. The crotch was in good condition. Doesn't look like it's got too much wear. Um, interesting thing about it, this pair was that they are highly distressed and they're also embroidered on the front, on both legs. So, I thought that was a great pickup. Torrid does well for me. I'm sure there's more buried in here, but I also found several Athleta pieces. Um, and this is my second North Face piece. A pair of Never Stop Exploring North Face. They are just some cropped hiking pants. They are a size two. I think a size two athletic person gave up a lot of their stuff because most of the athleta that I found was also size two. So there's those. Here is a pair of athleta pants. These were, yes, these are a size four petite. In an olive green. Um, I think they're full length, although they look like they're cropped, but They've got zippers, zippered pockets down on one leg, zippered pockets in the back, kind of a low rise. Tell me low rise isn't coming back. I hate low rise. My belly's too big for low rise. <laughs> um, okay, next, I found some Spanx. This must be an old Spanx tag, because it's not red. But these are some panties that shape your bum and your belly and then they have hosiery down the thigh they're a size c i don't know what those are called but i'll figure it out this is a modern piece i just liked the cut of it um it's a pink floyd t-shirt with this back cut out probably something that was sold at Urban Outfitters or Target or something like that. Um, it's got the imprinted tag on the inside and that's a size small, I believe. Here's another of my Torrid pieces. This is a Torrid size two. Um, it is, I'm not sure what it is. Oh, it's got two layers. Wait a minute. <laughs> does this work? Um, I'll have to figure it out. So anyway, the back is, is really open, which is what's confusing me. It's like completely open. It has this tie detail and this ruffle detail. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be worn with like just the sweater part in the front and this white part worn in back or what. If you know the style and can help me out, give me a shout. Okay, we'll figure that out. Um, more boutique stuff. There was a bunch of Michael Kors stuff in there, but it was all really tiny. Um, and the one larger thing that I found was not in great shape, but this is also a large. Um, and it is a sweater that's got the signature buttons at the bottom. Pretty 
standard looking. This would be a good thread up piece. It's in good condition. Um, I don't know if it says what they had it listed for. It doesn't. But with the pink tag, it was a boutique item for them. All right, we're getting to the bottom. I have a thing for fabric. I used to sew. I used to cover my own chairs and furniture. I used to make my own clothes. Um, I've done all kinds of things. And I saw this fabric that has these really cool kind of Asian inspired lions on all over it and dragons. And I don't even know how much fabric there is, but it's a roll this big and I had to bring it home with me. I have no idea what I'm doing with it except sticking it in my pile of fabric, <laughs> but we'll figure it out. All right, another piece of Torrid. This is a Torrid size four, which is very large. Um, it was inside out when I saw it. Um, so I was excited to see that it had some fun detail on it. This is sort of a foamy dimensional kiss lips. It's in good shape. It's just a sweatshirt, but I like it. Perfect for the season. All right, here's another piece of the Athleta. This is a four petite. These zip up in the back. Um, just sort of leggings. There are no pockets or anything. They do have a split hem. So these are almost like they could be worn to work, like work to yoga kind of thing. Um, okay, very few more pieces. This is a fashionable platine. Fashionable, which is a, it means fashionable in French. Fashionable. Um, it's a size small. Is it silk? Yes, it is rayon and silk. And the lining is 100% silk. And it's just this gorgeous velvet um, sort of draped neck top that I just thought was really pretty. And I'm probably going to send that into thread up. Fashionable is a good brand in men's, or at least it used to be. Um, I haven't picked it up in a while, and I haven't sold any in a while, although I probably do have some that I need to list. I have so much stuff I need to list. I really need some help. Um, okay, so this is a brand. When I saw the tag, it just it looked like something that you might find in anthropology. So I threw it in my cart, and then I looked it up. It is called Jigsaw. This is a size 12 dress. Um, it's got these sort of camp sleeves that you can roll up. It's got some, um, pleating detail at the waistline. Feels like it has, is that a zipper? It must be a zipper. Something is on the inside. Yes, it is a zipper. So there's a hidden zipper in the, um, in the seam and if you can see the print on that that is all the card suits like hearts diamonds clubs and spades i just thought that was really cute and the comps said um they were a little bit all over but the dresses were going for about 40 or 50. so good find there next gap sorry old navy they kind of run in the same circles for me. Old Navy, size large, um, kind of overalls, but not classic overalls. So they have they the waist cinches with this drawstring. They button up with these little petite, tiny little buttons. They have pockets and wide legs, and they are more of a. They're not really denim. They are. Um, chambray so they're fairly lightweight but i thought those were a cute spring thing i may list them i may send them to plato's t 
TBD, to be determined. This was another item that when I picked it up, it reminded me of Matilda Jane. It is a group, uh, a group. It is, uh, that would be a cool name for a group actually. It is a brand called Mustard Pie and it is a girl's dress. It is a halter dress with crochet detail around the neckline. It's got a little crocheted flower and waistband. It's smocked in the back. And then it's got this pretty yellow and red floral. And then um, these fun eyelet lace um, tears at the bottom. Very Matilda Jane-ish. Comps were a little bit everywhere, but again, dresses were going for about 30. So I'm excited about that. I found a few Lululemon bags for when I sell a Lululemon item. There were two or three of them. There was also this Bass Pro Shops um, Stuff It bag, which we can use for camping. And then I found a Nike um, mask. I found a white label Lily Pulitzer uh, knit top here, kind of a turtleneck top, and I probably a size extra small, I imagine, or small. I'd say that's a small. White label is not always so great, but you know. I also found a Taryn Rose bag. Um, I have sold several pairs of Taryn Rose shoes, which I imagine. Uh, this bag came in. I believe I have a pair unless I just recently sold them. I'll have to check. I found a Life is Good shirt. This one is funny. For those who like beer, it says, what's wrong with this picture? <laughs> and it is a size extra large. It's called the Crusher Tee. It's in good condition. Can't pass that up for the beer drinkers. And then the last item is this, which um, was inside out, but I saw this print. And this is called the Elephant Print. Um, it is a classic Michael Jordan print. And I recently sold a sweatshirt that was a reproduction of something that had been made back in the 80s, I think. Um, if it had been the repro, Probably could have sold it for a lot more, but I did end up selling it for like $49, I think. Um, so when I saw it, I was kind of excited that I found something else with that same print. It is a, um, it is a company called Fresh Laundry, which I had not heard of, but it's actually a tribute shirt. It is not a Jordan and it is not a Nike, but it's a tribute to the Bulls, Michael Jordan, the goat, greatest of all time. All right, so that's the haul, 45 pounds, $125. Um, I got a lot of work to do. Hopefully by the time this video goes up, you guys will be able to see this stuff in my closet. So thanks for stopping by. I know this was a long one. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you saw some fun stuff and learned a couple new brands like I did. And I will see you on the flip side. Bye.